The Top 10 Rowing Machines Search EasyVid before you buy. There are three things you need to consider when buying a rowing machine. One is the type of resistance that the rowing machine uses. Two is the size of the machine and how much it folds up and compacts. And three is the type of movement that you use when you exercise. Is it sculling or a traditional row? With all that in mind, we start our review with number 10, the Lifespan Fitness RW1000. This is an inexpensive entry-level machine that uses magnetic resistance, so it doesn't provide you that real resistance feel that you would get if you were actually rowing in the water. However, it's quiet and cheap, making it a great option for general cardio. To get full reviews for each rowing machine on our list and quickly narrow down which one is right for you, click the links beneath this video or search for EasyVid Best Rowing Machines. Number 9 is essentially a step up from number 10. It's the Stamina Avari Magnetic Exercise Rower. Obviously, this is again magnetic resistance, so you're not going to get that real feel of the rowing. However, it's quiet, but this has better quality parts than the lifespan, and it has a much more accurate LCD. It doesn't do double counting of rows or anything like that. If you're going to be exercising on a near daily basis, we highly recommend this one over the lifespan because of the higher quality components. You're just going to have less trouble over time. Number 8 on our list is the less traditional Kettler Cadet, and this is a sculling simulator, not a traditional sweeping simulator. Basically, the difference is, with this one, it's as if you're rowing with two separate oars, whereas a traditional rowing machine, you're doing sweeping, which is a single oar. And the main reason we feature the Cadet on our top 10 list is because the sculling motion is extremely realistic. It's also a very well-built machine. All the parts are very sturdy. There's no rattling as you use the machine. Now we take a look at number 7, the Kettler Favorite. While this is a traditional form factor rowing machine, it doesn't have the string based puller, so you're using a more structured pull, and that's great for people who don't know how to do a proper form on a rowing machine. This machine is also more compact than a traditional full size rowing machine, and it works out your entire body. We find that the straps on the feet are very tight and they're not prone to breaking like a lot of other machines, which is a nice perk. Overall, this is just a very nice entry level rowing machine. To get full reviews for each rowing machine on our list and quickly narrow down which one is right for you, click the links beneath this video or search for EasyVid Best Rowing Machines. At number 6, we turn to a more traditional style rowing machine. This is another magnetic resistance rower. It's made by Velocity and it's very well built. And our favorite thing about this one is how quiet it is. A lot of magnetic resistance machines still make some sort of whir and this one's almost silent. For the price, we really think the Velocity machine is really hard to beat because it offers such high quality build and it's extremely comfortable on top of being quiet. The chair is very well cushioned and the resistance on this machine goes higher than a lot of the previous magnetic resistances we looked at. So if you're looking for a more advanced workout, you should definitely check Check this one out. Now number 5 on our list is something a little bit non-traditional. This is the Stamina Orbital Rowing Machine and the reason we have this one on the list is because it's so compact when you fold it up. You can literally fit the thing in your closet. However, the machine does have a few flaws which you might expect at such a low price and such a compact form factor and the flaws include the fact that the resistance is very stiff. It doesn't have that gradual inertial buildup that most rowing machines have. However, it does offer full range of motion, it's cheap and compact, so you might want to check it out. Number 4 on our list is the Extreme Budget option. This is the Sunny Health and Fitness Rowing Machine and it costs less than $100. So don't expect anything great out of this, just expect simple movement and a very very simple computer. The computer is there basically to give you a calorie estimate and give you an idea of how many rows you've done. However, we find that it's somewhat inaccurate and it does double count frequently. The resistance can tap out quickly and this is definitely not the machine to get if you're looking to get in extremely good shape. However, because of its extremely low price and its compact size, we highly recommend this for older people or anybody who's just beginning and doesn't need anything fancy. At number 3 we have another affordable option. This is the Stamina Air Rower and it costs less than $300 if you find it on sale. It's a wind resistance type machine so it gives you a more realistic feel than a lot of the magnetic machines. However the machine is loud and it doesn't compact very well. This is certainly not the choice for the pro rower but it's an excellent option for any beginner or anybody buying their first rowing machine because of its affordable price and its decent build quality. At number 2 we have another affordable machine and the reason we keep putting these budget machines in the top 5 is because we feel that people don't all need an extreme rowing machine. Most people just looking for a great cardio workout will do just fine with this one. It's the Stamina Body Track Glider. This rowing machine uses a gas shock resistance system which is a little bit stiff at first and has that inertial problem that we've mentioned before. However it's extremely sturdy and it compacts into a very small size and it doesn't weigh that much so it's easy to maneuver. For less than $200 here you basically get a machine that you can fit in the closet. We'll give you a full body workout and is extremely quiet. 
To get full reviews for each rowing machine on our list and quickly narrow down which one is right for you, click the links beneath this video or search for EasyVid Best Rowing Machines. Before we start talking about number one, know that it's expensive. It's the most expensive machine on our list. If you're looking for anything budget, look at numbers four, three, or two. With that warning in mind, here's the Concept2 Model D indoor rowing system. Now anybody who does indoor rowing a lot knows that Concept2 is basically the way to go. This is an extremely high quality machine. It's not going to break on you and it will hold its value so you can sell it used for almost as much as you bought it for. This particular Concept2 uses air resistance and a flywheel which minimizes the noise but it still gives you a very smooth inertial entrance into your rows. Another benefit of the Concept2 systems is their weight capacities. This one, for example, can hold up to 500 pounds and it has a 5-year warranty on the frame. It's really built to last. The Model D also provides an extremely realistic rowing motion for a sweeping rower and even though it is somewhat professional, we highly recommend this for everybody because you're going to lose a lot more weight on this. It's way more fun to use. The computer on it's extremely accurate. This one uses the PM3 system. Essentially, it's going to give you every detail about every stroke and it's going to show you nice data to summarize your workouts. We can't possibly recommend this machine more and remember it's worth the extra couple hundred dollars because you can sell it used for almost as much as you bought it for. Check out the Concept2 Model D. To get full reviews for each rowing machine on our list and quickly narrow down which one is right for you, click the links beneath this video or search for EasyVid Best Rowing Machines. The Top 10 Rowing Machines. Search EasyVid before you buy. There are three things you need to consider when buying a rowing machine. One is the type of resistance that the rowing machine uses, two is the size of the machine and how much it folds up and compacts, and three is the type of movement that you use when you exercise. Is it sculling or a traditional row? With all that in mind, we start our review with number 10, the Lifespan Fitness RW1000. This is an inexpensive entry-level machine that uses magnetic resistance, so it doesn't provide you that real resistance feel that you would get if you were actually rowing in the water. However, it's quiet and cheap, making it a great option for general cardio. To get